We've now imported our data. The next thing we want to do is actually learn how to declare this data to be a time series data set, and then subsequently learn how to actually plot a line graph with this data. So if we look at the data, we note that we've got time period 1976 up to 2008, we've got unemployment and inflation. So what we want to do is actually import this data, or sorry, we want to time set this data, so the data knows that it's a time series data set, and then we want to generate a line graph of this data as well. So to actually declare this data as being time series in nature, what we want to do is use the ts set command. So if we type ts set, that is time series set, we then want to select the variable that declares this as time series. Now that's going to be depending on the type of data you have, daily, yearly, monthly, anything along those lines. So we're going to select the variable time, which in our case is the time variable. And we're going to tell Stata that this is yearly data. So we're going to put in comma year. And we're going to hit enter. And what you can see is that Stata is now telling us the time variable goes from 1976 to 2008, and the delta is one year. So what we mean by delta here is that's the period between each observation. So it goes in terms of one year, the delta being 1976, 1977, 1978, and so on, going up in increments of one year. If the delta was two years, if our data was every two years as opposed to yearly, it would be delta two, 1976, 1978, 1980, and so our data would be every two years. So now we've set our data as being time series in nature, the next thing we want to do is we want to plot uh, our variables over time to take a look at them. To do that, we're going to use the TS line command, time series line command, and I'm going to choose unemployment, and I'm going to hit enter. And what this does is the TS line command basically takes time on the X axis and the variable you select on the Y axis. So we've got time, and we've got unemployment, so we've generated a line chart of this. We can then type TS line for inflation as well. And this will give us the line graph for the inflation rate also. So our TS line command will let us generate line graphs relatively straightforwardly in Stata. Now remember, once you've generated these, look at your history and copy these into your do file so that you're keeping track of it. I'm going to put in a note here, generate line graphs of all variables. And we've got TS line, TS, in, TS line unemployment, TS line inflation. Now we could put both of these into the one graph, but because their scale is so different, that would not work well. So we're going to have separate line graphs for both of these.